Hey, weekly vlog four for Make Science Fun. I've got a challenge for you um, to think about during this video. There was this scientist, right, and he'd come up with this um, really good um, commercial product, but uh, he knew that there was this um, company that was out to kill him because uh, to protect the that because they had interests in, in regarding this and so they didn't want this commercial secret to come out. Now the um, scientists knew, knew that this um, company wanted to kill him with this poison. And so the scientists came up with this antidote in the form of um, red and white tablets. Now the scientists kept these four tablets in his pocket and he knew when he was poisoned, what he had to do was he had to take a red and white tablet now, if you took two red tablets, you'd die. Two white tablets, you'd die. You had to take one red and one white. He was poisoned, um, but he was like, he woke up in this box and it was dark in the box. And so he reached into his pocket, he grabbed the four tablets, but he couldn't see what colors they were. But he thought about it for a moment and um, he came up with the solution to how he could take his red and his white tablet without dying. It's not like he used his mobile phone to like see what, you know, to turn his light on or anything like that. So the solution is, um, you know, not tricky. Well, it is a bit tricky, um, but it's like a mathematical solution sort of thing. So anyway, at the end of the vlog, I'll show you how he did it. I don't know why, but this morning, I just felt like coming up to the bush and doing some science on a rock. And here I am and I've got a conical flask with basically a bit of water um, boiling away there and it's got a tube and you can see the steam I'm going to invert it and put the tube in that water are you ready? here we go invert the tube and pop it in the water and let's see what happens here we go here we go Woo! look at that Fills up the flask. Okay, Eddie Currents, okay, so we've got, stop spinning that. We got some magnets, magnets on the spinny disky oh thing. Genius. Yeah. Okay. And now we're gonna put in the cardboard so that there's no um there's no air. Uh, we don't want air currents making any change. Okay, cookie, turn it on, mate, turn it on. Cookie. Okay, and now hopefully we're going to induce. Oh look at this, we're inducing eddy currents in the can. Those eddy currents according to Lenz's law oppose the change that cause it, causing it to spin just like an AC motor. Yeah, and if you're bored of that, then you can do... <laughs> oh, wow. We take the other thing, because look at Ellie's... Yeah, there we go. Wait, what's this one, two, three, four? Um, sir. Okay. Put it down again. No, I'm going to do that. Good job. Ah! Ah! Wow. Turn it on and we get a bit of a spark. See that spark? That's a good way to check. Now we've got a convection here, heater here, which is mainly empty space. And down here we've got some of the wire element. And so I'm going to connect the electricity to the wire element. And woo! Look at it go. It glows nice and hot. What happens if you separate the Woo! Wires? Good, look at that. Can you see the smoke going shooting straight up? Yeah, see that? Because what a convection heater does is it uses these glowing metal to heat up the air and then the cold air down here rises, the hot air comes out here, woo, and then the cold air goes in the bottom. So that's why it's called a convection heater. Wow, ow! Here we go. This is what happens when you run into a pile at lunchtime. No. Series seven. So senior science today, we're looking at solutions, colloid suspension solutions, you know, the particles are dissolved, so the solute is dissolved in the solvent, you can't see the particles. Um, suspension, the particles are so big that they 
they settle out and so you need to give it a stir if you're going to use your suspension. And then colloids are somewhere in the middle and uh, I was looking at my colleague's um, almond milk and uh, she likes it, I think she's a bit allergic to milk and so it's obviously like almonds crushed up, crushed up in water so I knew there'd be water but then I'm looking at the ingredients and I'm like it's only 3% almonds so it's, and then there's some oil so it's probably like 94% water so you paint 94% water 3% almond meal and 3% oil and um, I would imagine that the um, to help the water and the oil mix together well, the almonds are actually what we call an emulsifying agent. So there we go. And it looks like that. It actually looks very, very white, but it is a, appears to be a fairly stable bit of a mix. And it smells mm, not like almonds. So here we are at Chapel. Out for dinner with my wife, midweek treat. And often when I picked up these microwaves and I pulled them apart, I often find that that's that, that 20 cent fuse is blown and the person has thrown away the microwave because of the 20 cent fuse that's blown. This is PP Boy and he's made out of ceramic. He's a clay, okay? So he's clay, but he's, he's hollow. Now, if I put him in the hot water, what happens is... The heat expands, the heat expands the air inside him, put him in the put him in the cold water. Now you can't, you can't see anything that's happening anymore, but he's cooling down, right? And what happens to the air inside him when he cools down? It contracts. Good, the air contracts, takes up less space. And so what do you think will happen to some It'll of the other? Some of the yellow water's going inside him now. Now in China, to test whether the water is hot enough for their tea, they pour their hot water onto PP pee -pee Boy. Okay? So are we ready? Yep. Here we go. Let's see whether it's hot enough. <laughs> is the water hot enough? So now we turn it on. What? We're producing convection currents with electric heater. Look at it go! Jesse, you want to go? So magnetic spectrum is just a name on a range of radiation. Let me tell you what they are. Okay, so there we go, there's another week in science. Did you work out the solution to the scientist problem? How did he take a red and a white one and live as opposed to swallowing two red and two white? Um, hmm, well, he's very, very clever. There he is in his pocket. What he did was he reached in, he took one tablet out, didn't know what color it was, but broke it in half. Broke it in half, threw one half away, and swallowed one half. Took out another tablet, threw one half away, swallowed that tablet. Took out a tablet, broke it in half, threw half away, swallowed half, took out that tablet, broke half, threw
through half away. And by the time he'd done that, what did he have? He had eaten one red and one white. Pretty good, eh? <laughs> Woohoo! Thanks to, uh, thanks to Oliver from Mind Camp for sharing that um, little challenge with me. Great little challenge.